among many things, Flick is a father, husband, and student at Eastern Illinois University. But what most people don't get to see is the fact that Blake is a victim of war. While serving his time in Iraq, Blake was wounded in action when an IED hit his vehicle. I'm 30% disabled with post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. um, uh, also disabled traumatic brain injury. I'm disabled with uh, ringing ears. Um, I'm also disabled with uh, back problems. I've said over 20 times by roadside bomb. So that really messed up my back. Blake is now left with wounds that can never fully heal. Blake's wife, Jackie, explains the difficulties. To see the struggles that he still is dealing with, you know, a couple of years later is, is, a, is difficult to know that, you know, the nightmares or the, um, the back problems, the different things that he's experiencing that I will never know about. Since coming home, Blake saw the need to invest in other disabled veterans. He paired with the Illinois Patriot Education Fund to start the I Heart Vets Scholarship to help disabled veterans around Illinois receive a college education. Public Relations Agency Director Beth Steele believes helping the veterans is a great cause. It's something that kind of gets overlooked. Disabled veterans don't really get the help that they need and not only um, would this be helping them get an education, but it would be helping them just um, have a life outside of the military. The I Heart Vets campaign has seen success all over Illinois and even other various states around the country. Um, Ashley Mikulik believes donating is the least we can do. We owe it to them to send them through school since they took so much of their own time to serve our country and we need to give it back you know, to them, whatever they gave to us. Blake is determined to raise at least $10,000 in hopes of offering veterans funds they can use. Reporting for Off the Shelf and Online, I'm Lauren Lombardo.